At this time now we want to look to the book of Psalms. We do want to look at the 62nd number of Psalm. Look at verses 5 through 8 of that Psalm. Psalm 62, verses 5 through 8. <clears throat> My soul, wait thou only upon God, for my expectation is from him. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. And God is my salvation and my glory, the rock of my strength, and my refuge is in God. Trust in him at all times, ye people, pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Amen. Amen. From this uh, passage of scripture, we would like to talk to you from this subject today. I'm waiting for God. Amen. And I do pray that by the completion of this message, we will have helped somebody to understand that there's nothing wrong with waiting on God. Because I do pray that we take it personal, uh, this particular passage of scripture, that Psalms that David is truly writing to encourage every believer that we can wait on God. And one thing, waiting has never been an easy task under no circumstance. Because I think when we think about waiting, waiting takes patience. Waiting sometimes is frustrating. And sometimes waiting can make you become so upset that it seems like what you're waiting for is never gonna happen. But David in this passage assures us that God surely can be waited on. The track record, if you ever look of God's, is perfect. Never has he failed anyone who waited upon him. And I pray that there are some witnesses today who can agree with that, that God has not failed you in your waiting. Because there are some of us who are here today in this house who find ourselves waiting on God to show up. And we're waiting on him for various reasons. Because there are some issues that are going on in our lives presently that all we can do now is just learn to trust God and wait upon him. Because we find ourselves waiting on God because he has assured us that we can trust him. And, and aren't you glad that you can trust God? That you can depend on God? When it seems like humans are not always there to depend on. Because we really ought to be uh, like this, that God is somebody worth waiting for. Because if he was uh, not that person, that individual that we seek, then the waiting on him would be in vain. Because one thing about when we wait on others, we get disappointed. Right. We, we get heartbroken. That's right. We get angry, we get upset. And, and the reason why, because we put too much confidence in each other That's right. That's right. and fail to know that God is the only one that can assure us that waiting is not in vain. Because God wants us to know that we can depend on him, as this text says, at all times. Because I don't believe there's a time in your life where you feel you cannot depend on God. And, and one of the things I think that tries us is when we're going through our storm, our, our sorrow, our tribulation, our problem, and we find ourselves just at loss. Because it seems like even God himself is taking too long. Amen. Am I speaking to someone? Because I, I just don't feel that I'm the only one 
they're just waiting on God. Because see, there are many of us in here are going through our own personal dramas, yeah. dilemmas, and, and, and storms, and we seem as though that God don't seem to know what's going on. But I want to let you know that God is aware of what you're going through. But the test comes is how long can you wait on the Lord to do something? Because when everyone and everything has failed you, it is God who we can turn to. And I do believe it's really he ought to be the one we always depend upon. Because he was never the one who let us down. He was never the one who disappointed us. He was never the one who failed us. And so God ought to be the one we are willing to wait on. Because God wants us to know we can depend on him, as David says again in the text, at all times. And that's good news. That there's never a time we can't depend on God. I, I dare anybody to search the time. I, I dare anybody to dwell on the time. When you couldn't see that God could be dependent on, and God will come back and prove to you that I was always at that time. And, and it's good to know, brothers and sisters, that we can wait on God. Yeah. Because there are some things that try us in this life that will sometimes get the best of us. Yeah. It will almost make a saint want to quit. Yeah. Amen. Being who they are in God. Yeah. But I assure you, if you just wait on the Lord yeah. and be of good courage, David said that he will strengthen your heart. And I'm glad that when we look at the text, the text is really a one to encourage every believer to don't give up on God. You heard the song that, you, you know, if you don't give on God, he won't give up on you. I, I stand as a witness, believing that if I can just depend on him, he won't give up on me. And, and I wonder anybody in the house today can understand that you can depend on God. You can wait on God. And, and, and waiting, if we don't realize it, is sometimes a thing that prepares us for what we are waiting for. And because what if God gave us everything that we request of him? We will learn a lesson about the importance of waiting on him. We would be a lot of small saints because we got a God who does everything we say and do it every time we want. But I got to let you understand this. God moves as he wants to move. And he wants us to understand in the process of waiting, I want you to learn that you can depend on me. And so David in this text, he speaks as someone who has had experiences with God. And I didn't say a experience right. or an experience, right. but experiences with God. Yeah, yeah. David, he writes just as though he's been through something. And, and, and I like that because how can you tell me something if you don't know it yourself? Right. Right. How can you tell me what you do in God and, and you don't even understand him yourself? Right. And, and, and David says this at a perfect time in his life when his soul was waiting only, and, and I hope you caught that, of on God. Yeah, yeah. Amen. He says that in verse 5, my soul wait thou only of on God. Oh, yeah. and, and he was not waiting on nobody else. He wasn't waiting on father. He wasn't waiting on mother. He wasn't waiting on husband or wife, brother or sister. David said, my soul wait thou only on God. And aren't you glad that that's a good thing? Yeah. That he's the only one you're waiting for. Yeah. Some of us, amen, are waiting on somebody. Yeah. And they still ain't showing up. <laughs> yes, and, 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 and they promised that I was going to be there yeah. at such and such time. And you still waiting. Yeah. And they have not showed up. But I'm glad the same cannot be applied to God. Because David declares, he says, for my expectation yes, yes. is from him. Now, that yes. expectation is my hope, yes. 
Yes, 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 it's right in him. And brothers and sisters, one thing that helps us to wait on God is that we done learn to expect him to do something. That's yeah. right. Anybody in here is, is waiting on him yeah. to show up in your life. Yeah. Amen. I don't know about you, but I am just as sure, brothers and sisters, that if I wait on him, he's going to fulfill my expectation. Yeah. Amen. My, my hope is just in the Lord. Yeah. And I'm glad David makes it plain, brothers and sisters, that there are some reasons why my soul has got like this. Right. Amen. I realize that God is a rock. Yeah. It's right there in verse 6. Amen. And not only a rock, but my salvation. Yeah. And when you realize who God is yeah. and what he is to you, then you got a reason to continue to wait on him. Yeah. David had come to that conclusion that the reason I wait on him, I know him for myself. And there is no better person to know God than you for yourself. Amen. Look at what he says. He's, he only is my rock and my salvation. You know, and, and, and not only that, he's my defense. And, and, and because of these Three things David declared him. He said this, I shall not be moved. All right. Now, sometime in your waiting, you're going to get a little moved. Oh, yeah. If you don't have that anchor you need, yeah. that's something to hold on to. That's something to let you understand that I don't have to be moved if I know who God is to me. Yeah. And I'm glad that David realized that God is a rock to him. That he's salvation to him, that he is a defense to him. And because of this, I shall not be moved. And isn't it good to know that he was assured that I don't have to be worried, yeah. nor do I have to be disturbed. All right. Because my God is a sure rock. He's sure foundation. He's sure salvation. He's a sure defense. That even when it's overwhelming me, guess what? I can still wait where I am. That's what I see David saying, that, that I'm waiting on God. And no matter how great the storm gets, no matter how the tribulations might come, no matter how the storm winds might want to blow me, I'm glad David said I won't be moved. Which means I'm not going to be troubled by all the circumstances that are coming in my life. I know somebody who has assured me that I can wait on him in the midst of what I'm going through. I pray I got a witness today that somebody in the house learned that there's a value in waiting on God. Because of who he is in your life. And I pray that he's somebody to you. You may not call him a rock. You may not call him your salvation. You may not even refer to him as your defense. But he ought to be somebody to you. Amen. I can't talk for you, but I know who he is to me. Amen. And I'm glad David was personal in this text. He was declaring that he only is my rock, my salvation, my defense. I shall not be moved because of those revelations. Right. I realized that there were times in my life yes, that God proven to be a rock, right. proven to be my salvation, yes, proven to be my defense. Yeah. And so because of those things, I never was moved. Yes, God proved that I can stay still and wait on him. Right. Listen, it's hard to wait on God. When you're running from your situation. Amen. Do you hear me? Because see, running is a quick way. We feel to escape the situation. But there are times God wants you not to be moved. But he wants you to wait on him and see what he can do. And that's why I'm impressed by these words of David. Because David realized who God is. And he didn't only stop there. He said, and God is my salvation. Yeah. And God is my glory. Yeah. He's a rock of my strength. Yeah. Right. Amen. My refuge. 
Amen. Is in God. Yes. So David realized that as long as I wait on him, yes. I have these things in God. Well, what about you today? Well, what do you have in God? Yes, sir. That's making you wait on him. Yes. Listen, we heard David's story. We heard David's own declarations. Yes, for the reason why he's willing to wait on God. Yes. But I wonder, what is your story? What's making you wait on God? What has he done to make you want to wait? I mean, David was telling us about the past of what God had done. You do remember that he was a lad that kept his father's sheep. Amen. And because of that position, God allowed him to be anointed as king at an early age. And while God was working in the process of David's life, listen, God had him find favor by Saul. Well, Saul had him in his house. He played music for the king. Listen, when the king got upset, when his spirit got disturbed, he called on David to play some sweet music, to calm down his spirit. But there's another incident in David's life, which I know you are aware of. There was a threat in the land, a giant by the name of Goliath, who threatened the people of Israel. Listen, Israel had some mighty men, but there were no comparisons to this giant called Goliath. But he is a little lad uh, by the name of David, uh, who was assured of his God, uh, who was assured that I can go uh, before this giant uh, because of no, who I know uh, who convinced me uh, that while I watch my father's sheep, uh, when there came a bear and a lion, uh, God gave me strength uh, to slew the bear and the lion. Uh, so what is this? giant uh, yes. compared to them. Uh, yes. Y'all don't know uh, yes. the God that I know. Uh, yes. The God that yes. I serve. Uh, yes. King Saul, uh, yes. let me go to the field. Uh, yes. I'm going uh, yes. in the name of the Lord. Uh, yes. Can't you see David uh, yes. taking his smooth stones, uh, yes. his slingshot with him, uh, not equipped uh, yes. like a warrior, uh, yes. but he had uh, something with him uh, yes. that Warriors uh, did not possess. Uh, he had the God of Israel uh, on his side. Uh, that's why David knew uh, who his help come from. Uh, that's why David knew uh, who was the rock of his salvation. Uh, so you know the story. Uh, he went on out to the field, uh, saw this big man uh, who stood above men. Uh, but all David said, uh, I'm going out uh, in the name of the Lord. Uh, some stones here, huh? and I'm going to take one stone, huh? put it in my slingshot, huh? I'm going to swing my slingshot, huh? I believe in the name of the Father, huh? in the name of the Son, huh? in the name of the Holy Ghost, huh? I'm going to release huh? that stone huh? in that name, huh? and when the stone got loose, huh? it hit that giant huh? in his head, huh? caused that giant huh? to fall down. Uh, that's why we know uh, giants will fall uh, because when you go in the name of Jesus, uh, you can slay in a giant uh, because the Lord uh, is on your side. Uh, but I got to leave you uh, and convince you today uh, there's nothing wrong uh, with waiting on the Lord. Uh, how to got a witness? Uh, we need to learn uh, how to trust Him. Uh, we need to learn uh, how to depend on God. Uh, it's not up to us so what we see, uh, but it's who we believe. Uh, and I wonder in the house, uh, are there some believers uh, in God? Uh, don't you know uh, your God uh, has all power? Uh, your God uh, owns everything. Uh, your God uh, has been around uh, for a long time. Uh, your God uh, will take care of you. Uh, your will feed you up when you get hungry. Ain't he all right? I'm 
just convinced uh, that if I wait on God, uh, he will uh, show up. Uh, won't he do it? Uh, but let me remind you uh, of what Isaiah told us. Uh, they that wait uh, upon the Lord uh, shall renew their strength. Uh, they shall mount up with wings uh, like an eagle. Uh, they shall run uh, and not faint. Uh, they shall walk uh, and not get weary. Uh, I tell somebody, uh, you need to learn uh, how to wait on God. Uh, too many times uh, we want him to rush uh, but God uh, has a reason uh, for making us wait. Uh, it helps us uh, grow close to God. Uh, it helps us uh, be strong in the faith. Uh, it helps us uh, to know that our God uh, is an old time God. Uh, yes he is. Uh, he's on time. Uh, yes he is. Uh, Anybody glad uh, that God will uh, show up uh, at the right time? Uh, when he shows up, uh, he'll take care uh, of everything. Uh, won't God do it? Uh, won't he do it? Uh, I'm just glad uh, I can wait on him. Uh, I'm glad uh, I can trust him. Uh, I'm glad uh, I can depend on him. Uh, he is God uh, all by himself. Uh, ain't he good? Uh, That we can wait on him. So my testimony, I'm waiting on God. I heard Joe say, listen, that if I wait on him, my change will come. I don't know about you, but we need to learn how to wait on God to bring a change. We can't make it happen, but God knows how. He knows when. And I dare you to wait on him. Because there's a blessing Amen. In waiting on God. I believe somebody know that. Listen, when you know how to wait on him, he will come. Amen. At the right time. There's no time God is ever late. It's the right time that he decides to show up. He decides to fix it. He decides to change it. So why are you going to wait on him? Is your soul waiting on me? I don't know about you, my soul is waiting on me. And I believe if I wait on him, it's going to be all right. Because the Lord assured us it's going to be all right. And you know what? You can make it in the process of waiting. Just keep on talking to the Lord. God going to see you through it. You keep spending some time with him. Some of us need to go back to need Amen. Yeah. We don't know how good we had it when we was in need yeah. Y'all may not know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about getting on your knees and talking to God. But I know now we done got away from need yeah. Amen. But God wants us to still know how to talk to him. In the midst of your waiting, don't give up on God. But know you can wait on him. Because yes. God has an expected season yes. for everything. Yes. And it may not be your season yet. Yes. But keep waiting. Yes. Your season is coming. Yes. Amen. Because your blessing is in your season. Yes. But you got to wait on God. Yes. And don't get tired of waiting. Because yes. in the process of getting tired, he will renew your strength. Hallelujah. He will. Amen. If you get frustrated that way, God knows how to renew your strength. I'm a witness here to do it. Because I don't know about you, there's been some times I done got tired. But God came alone and renewed my strength. And said, just wait a little longer. It's coming. And so therefore, God bless you today, brothers and sisters. And heaven smile upon you. We do pray today that this word has found a place in you. Yes. Amen. Because one thing about it, God wants us to know that we can wait on him. Yes. Amen.